Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining us today uh, on this Thursday. This is uh, Lunchtime with the Lord. And yesterday, if you were with us, you'll recall we finished a book of the Bible. We finally finished 1 John, and I hope it was an encouragement to you. I hope it was uh, helpful for you. And uh, so today, I just wanted to come on here and give another devotion. And uh, I, I'd been debating and praying about where to go after we finished with uh, uh, 1, 1 John. And uh, I thought this might be a help to you, uh, those that are using the uh, Bible reading plan, uh, yearly Bible reading plan uh, through the book of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation that we gave uh, out at the church. Um, I thought it might be helpful and uh, to do a short devotion today from your Bible reading from today. Uh, if you were using our plan, I think you, you were to read uh, Genesis chapter 37, I believe, through 39. And um, and so I thought well, it might be helpful if I just pick a couple verses of scripture from there and give you a, a devotion today uh, from your Bible reading uh, that you're to do today. And uh, so it may not be, be a very long um, uh, devotion today, uh, but I hope it'll be a help to you. And uh, chapter number 37 really is uh, begins a great uh, portion of Scripture for you and for me. Uh, chapter number 37 of Genesis is uh, the chapter that we really are really introduced uh, to Joseph. And uh, the Bible begins to follow the life of Joseph for several chapters, uh, mainly almost the rest of the rest of the book of Genesis. Uh, we'll uh, continue to follow the life of Joseph. And uh, we know Joseph is uh, one of, of course, one of Jacob's sons. Uh, he, in chapter number 37, he is, uh, we're told that he's 17 years old when uh, uh, the things, the events that uh, begin to unfold in his life, and most of us know the things that uh, went on in his life. Uh, but uh, it's in chapter number 37 that we are, we quickly uh are told in the Word of God that his brothers, his brethren, hated uh, uh, hated Joseph. Uh, they hated him for, really for two purposes. One, he was his the father's favorite, Jacob's favorite, but also remember the dream. And we're told about the dream in chapter thirty-seven, the dream uh, that uh, portrayed his brethren bowing down to him, and certainly that plays out in the life of Jacob when we get to toward the end of the book of Genesis when he's uh, uh, have authority and a, 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 as a, a position of authority in Egypt, and they come down uh, and they bow before him. And so it, it was a prophetic dream. But the verse in the scripture that I want to uh, just highlight today from your portion of reading is verse number uh, 20 and verse number 21 of chapter 39. So chapter 39, verse 20 and verse 21. Here's what the Bible says. And Joseph's master took him and put him into prison in a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the of the keeper of the prison. Now, uh, what I want to talk to you today from these verses of Scripture is adversity, facing adversity. And, certain, and certainly we could say that Joseph has already faced adversity. Uh, we already know that in chapter number 37 that his brothers sold him into slavery. And as 39, chapter number 39 opens up, uh, Jacob, I'm sorry, Joseph has found favor in his master's eyes. God was with him. He, the master noticed something in him. He noticed that God was with him and he was prosperous. And so uh, he's brought into Potiphar's home. And uh, God had, had showed favor uh, to Jacob, even during this time of adversity, which uh, Jacob went through many events in his life, adversity. And uh, so Joseph is, is there in Potiphar's house, and right prior to the two verses we're going to talk about today, uh, Pot, we know the story, Potiphar's li uh, wife lies on uh, Jacob. And uh, uh, Joseph, I keep calling J uh, Joseph Jacob, he lies, she lies on Joseph. And uh, he, she tries to get him to lie with her, and he would not do that. And so as he flees, uh, he leaves a coat behind, and she uses that uh, to, uh, to lie on him and say that he came in and forcefully tried to lie with her. And so uh, this was told uh, to, of course, Joseph's master. And in our verses of Scripture, he's thrown in prison. 
So he's facing adversity again. He's already went through his, his brother's 30-minute pit, his brother selling him into slavery, and now things look like God is, is favor shown upon him, and now this happens. He's facing adversity again. He's facing some circumstances in his life that when Jake, when Joseph woke up, uh, you know, in his, in his, uh, the day before that day, he wouldn't have chosen, right? He wouldn't have chose back in chapter 37 to be sold into slavery. He wouldn't have chose any of those things. Uh, but we see them unfolding in the life of Joseph. Now there's a lot of things we can learn from the life of Joseph and Lord willing, uh, perhaps this Sunday, I will uh, start a series on preaching through the, uh, through and on the life of Joseph, some things that we can learn. I think it'll be helpful in the time that we're living, but uh, let me just share with you from these two verses. I believe, I, I see three things, three things uh, uh, that when Joseph faced adversity was true, still true in his life, that he could see it. He could still see these things. And when you and I face adversity, when we find trouble, when we find things that that come upon us, not now the things that came upon Joseph were at no, no fault of his own. Uh, he didn't bring this adversity upon himself because of disobedience or anything like that. These things come upon him. He didn't choose these. They were given to him. This was the path that, that he was given. And but So three things, and I believe as Joseph could see them during this time of adversity, you and I, when we're in times of adversity, we can still see these three things. Now notice, first of all, you see God's plan. Notice what verse number 19 says that he's thrown in prison, but verse 20 says, but the Lord but the Lord. God's hand was upon the life of Joseph from the very beginning. God was, we know the end of the story. Joseph didn't know what the chapter 50 was going to say about. And Joseph didn't know what chapter 46 or any of the other chapters ahead uh, in Genesis. He's living, this was his life. We have the benefit of looking back and reading over it and say, oh yeah, God's plan, he's getting him down to Egypt and he's going to get him to exalt into a position of authority. That way he can help uh, the Israelites when there's a famine come and all that. Joseph's living his life. He doesn't have four vision. He can't see ahead. God certainly did. And we have the benefit of looking back over his life because of the, the, the record of the word of God and see it unfolding and see how God's hands moving. Joseph's living it day by day, moment by moment. And, but God was with him. This was God's plan. Uh, he was not there out of disobedience, out of rebellion. You know, times at times our rebellion gets us in a place that we shouldn't be. He was not in Egypt. He was not in Potiphar's house because of rebellion or uh, going against God or some chastisement upon God. This was God's plan. And listen, child of God, just because of adversity comes in our lives, just because trouble comes in our life, doesn't mean necessarily mean we're outside of God's will. It could be God's plan for our life. It could be what God has chosen for us in this season. The second thing that Joseph could see, or Joseph could see maybe looking back as he goes through this, and we can see, is that God's presence was still there in the midst of adversity. Notice the Bible says, but the Lord was with Joseph in verse 21. The Lord was with Joseph. Now, the Lord was with Joseph when he was in his father's house, uh, Jacob. The Lord was with Joseph when he was in the pit. The Lord was with Joseph as he was sold into uh, slavery. The Lord was with Joseph when he is thrown in prison uh, by Potiphar. The Lord is still there. The Lord is still with him. And listen, we can take that uh, in, as an encouraging word as well. When you're facing adversity in your life, listen, God doesn't, doesn't abandon us when that happens. You see it over and over in the Word of God. You uh, look at the book of Daniel, the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They're thrown in the fiery furnace. Who was there with them? The Bible tells us they threw three in, but the, the king said, why? Is it? There's four. I threw three. We threw three in, bam, but there's four loose walking around. The fourth one looks like is like the son, uh, like into the image of the Son of God. Jesus was there. And so the, pro, the, the, the presence of God was still in the adverse, adversity uh, uh, that Joseph faced. And the fourth, so we see God's plan, we see God's presence, but the fourth thing is, you still, or I'm sorry, the third thing, you still can see God's power. Notice again, he was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. God was still in control. It may have looked like Potiphar was in control when he had Joseph thrown in the prison. It may have looked like 
whoever it was, the Egyptian soldiers or whoever it was that led him down to the prison, it may have looked like they were in control when they tossed Joseph in to prison. It may have looked like that the innkeeper, or not the innkeeper, but the prison keeper was in control, but God was in control. And the reason uh, he, he was in control, and we see God's power working even in, adverse, in adversity. Now, there's a lot of things going on in our world. But understand this, God's still powerful. God's still working. God's still able to do a great work. Here in the midst of the prison, in the midst of this adversity, this trouble that he's facing, God's working on his behalf. God's power, he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And that's going to benefit Joseph uh, later on. And uh, so three things that Joseph was true in Joseph's adversity, that's true in your adversity today, that's true in your trouble that comes to, in your life. Uh, it could be very well that it's God's plan. It's God's season for your life. God God is going to use it to mold you and, and help you and work in you and grow you uh, to be more like him. Uh, and so God's plan, but the Lord, he was still in control. His presence was there. God doesn't uh, lead us to adversity in our life and then desert us. He goes through the adversity with us. He goes through the fire with us. He goes in the den of lions like he did with Daniel with us. And so if he leads us to adversity, if that's God's plan, his presence is there with us. And then if he leads us there, he's with us there, that means his power is working in our adversity. As we see, he showed mercy to, to Joseph and he, he gave favor to uh, Joseph in the sight of the prison keeper. I hope this has been encouragement to you today uh, as it was me as I was studying this and I hope it helps you as you're reading your Bible verses today, your, your chapters today in your daily Bible reading. And so we're time, our time's up today. Hope you have a good one today and hope to see you tomorrow on Friday's edition of Lunchtime with the Lord.